Is Cardano affected by the Federal Reserve? How will Cardano save endangered species? What is ACT IM? If you want to learn all about it, then stay with me to find out more. And if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell. Welcome to Cardano Rumors, the best place for your daily dose of Cardano. Cryptocurrencies including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana, Cardano and Terra slid sharply on Wednesday night, after the US Federal Reserve released minutes of its December meeting in which the central bank signaled it could start raising interest rates to tackle stubbornly high inflation. At 5 p.m. Thursday, Bitcoin was down 8.49% at $42,835. It had earlier tested the $42,500 levels after the Fed released its minutes. Bitcoin reached an all-time high of $68,749 on November 11, 2021, and has outperformed all capital markets in terms of yearly price growth in 2021, with a 60% return. Other altcoins as well reacted strongly to the news, Ethereum, Cardano, Solano, Shiba Inu, Cardano and Binance Coin all dropped by 10% or more during the 48 hours till Thursday evening. At 5 p.m., the Coinbase tracker showed a 9.8% drop in the overall crypto market in the previous 24 hours. Bitcoin has been under pressure lately due to key central banks indicating that they are going to move away from low interest rates and that their bond buying programs will gradually taper off. Experts say the fall was expected since the market had been range bound and very volatile in the last few days. The market going down is mostly being attributed to the US Federal Reserve's plan to hike interest rates this year to target rising inflation. Like any asset, macroeconomic factors affect the crypto too. Investors must keep in mind that risk and reward go hand in hand and that they need to do their own research before buying into any asset not just crypto, said Ashish Singhal, founder and chief executive of CoinSwitch. Experts say that selling pressure was largely due to US and European investors booking profits. The correction was imminent. From December 16 onwards, the market has been range-bound and choppy. There was also sell-off pressure because many investors in the West book profits during the Christmas holidays, said Edel Patel, co-founder and CEO of Mudrex, a crypto investment platform. Gaurav Dahake, CEO and founder of Bittens, said Bitcoin tends to mellow down during the new year, the Chinese New Year, and the Christmas season. It's that phase of the year when people book the profits in advance, exit the market, and leave the trading for a while to spend more time with their loved ones. It's a traditional timeline, which Bitcoin sees every year between December 20th to January 15th. However, we are bullish and expect it to stabilize between the $40,000 and $50,000 mark, he said. Some Indian exchanges witnessed a jump in trading volumes, but the overall sentiment has been bearish in the last two months. Biucoin has witnessed an overall decrease in trading volumes as compared to November 21, a month in which Bitcoin touched the all-time high, said Shivam Thakral, CEO of Biucoin. A lot of seasoned investors have started looking at these sell-offs as an opportunity to buy the dip. Whenever the market crashes, we have seen trading go up by 20 to 30 percent, said Patel. Similar to earlier turbulence in the crypto market, smart investors are buying the dip. We have seen investors with a long-term horizon accumulating more crypto assets, said Thakral. Due to choppy markets in the last few days, Indian investors, most of whom joined the crypto bandwagon in 2021, have lately been a nervous lot. Indian investors are reacting to a variety of negative news items. There is obviously the Omicron factor, then the Kazakhstan internet shutdown, and then the US Fed announcements. Some whales have also been drawing profits, so the market tanked. My mail inbox and the comments sections of the media channels I run have been flooded with queries from anxious investors, said Vishal Gupta, a popular crypto commentator. Following mass protests over rising fuel prices in Kazakhstan, the government there shut down the internet, and Bitcoin mining activity was severely hampered due to electricity and internet restrictions. After the US, Kazakhstan has the second largest Bitcoin mining activity globally. The sell-off in cryptocurrencies coincided with a sharp correction in equities as well. How will Cardano save endangered species? The Endangered Empire team is releasing an ongoing series of NFTs targeting one endangered or vulnerable species per series. Over the span of the project, they aim to donate millions of dollars to wildlife and green organizations focused on protecting and rebuilding the targeted species' habitats. Each series will feature a new species voted on by their community. Founded by Christian Nelson, a bachelor in electrical engineering and a crypto enthusiast, 
who aims to use the abundance of NFTs to rescue, restore, and rebuild nature and strengthen its benefits to mankind. Endangered Empire houses a goal of empathy and kindness. Sure, there are other NFT collectible projects out there, but we wanted this project to make a greater impact in the world than just collectibles. The first release in their series is the Angry Orcus which features the Orsinus Orca, also known as the Killer Whale. Angry Orcus are an NFT collection on the Cardano blockchain made up of 9,999 randomly generated NFTs with 150-plus hand-drawn elements carefully chosen to maximize the appeal of any NFT collector. These elements include a variety of skins, facial expressions, clothes, jewelry, hats, eye accessories, and more. We have two equally important goals in mind. One being to raise awareness for and eliminate the decline of these species. The second is to give our community one of the most appealing NFTs in the space, while rewarding collectors and the community. The Endangered Empire team is passionate in their vision and are community-driven. They are equally focused on giving back to their community just as much as they are to endangered species. They aim to build a community structured by community involvement, giveaways, ongoing community rewards, and expansion by celebrity endorsement and brand collaborations. Cardano is known as the green blockchain solely because of its minimal use of energy consumption. Cardano is highly sustainable and environment-friendly, which perfectly fits the mission and goals of their project. Also, with the highly anticipated release of Cardano's smart contracts, the endangered empire team saw an opportunity. The CNFT space is so new that people don't really know CNFTs exist yet. That gives our community a first-mover advantage. We want to be the pioneers for philanthropic NFT collections. Another factor that played into their decision was Cardano offers extremely low gas fees making all transactions affordable for everyone. Endangered Empire hopes their project brings people into the Cardano blockchain and sees a future in which the project will grow based on its art, vision, mission, and being an early adapter in the CNFT space. Stay up to date with Endangered Empire releases, NFT sneak peeks, giveaways, whitelisting and other events by following them on Twitter and Discord. What is ActIM? The Cardano Group has completed the acquisition of sustainable investing specialist Actium from Athera Netherlands. The transaction was initially agreed in October 2021 and has since received regulatory approval. Actium is a leading Dutch asset management company, with more than £18.5 billion in assets under management and nearly 30 years of experience in sustainable investing. As one of the few pure-play sustainable asset managers, it is also a market leader in impact investing, especially in microfinance and SME finance, having launched its first impact investment fund in 2007. It is a worldwide leader in the sustainability field according to PRI. The acquisition significantly enhances Cardano's service provision particularly with investment funds, corporate sustainability analysis, and ESG advice. It will allow Cardano to offer best-in-class sustainable equity and fixed-income portfolios in both the active and passive space, as well as sustainable stewardship in-house. Cardano now manages more than £50 billion of assets and employ over 500 people in the UK and the Netherlands across its advisory, investment management and DC businesses. With the completion of the acquisition, Harold Noss assumes the CEO position of Actium, while also staying responsible for the Cardano Netherlands organization. This will ensure that the synergies and cooperation of the new combination will be optimally implemented. The new Actium board will take into account the long-term strategy of the combined company and consists of Harold Noss, Hilda Villard, Mark Stridgebos, and George Sunderman. George Sunderman recently joined Cardano and takes on the role of COO and Deputy CEO. He was previously a managing director at Rob Eco, working in the Netherlands, India and Hong Kong. Michael de Lathar, group CEO of Cardano, comments, with the acquisition of Actium now completed, we're looking forward to the next phase of growth for the Cardano group as an enlarged business. Our new colleagues bring a wealth of talent and experience and give our clients access to a broadened advisory and asset management proposition. This deal is an important milestone in realizing our ambition to offer the best-in-class sustainable solutions that maximize financial and social returns to pension funds and other long-term investors. What are your thoughts on this? Tell me in the comments section. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a like. Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video. And remember, the information provided is not trading advice. 
We strongly recommend independent research and or consultation with a qualified professional before making any investment decisions. Thank you for watching and stay strong.